Uh, so EMPA Heart is a study of a medication called EMPA Gliflozin, uh, which is an SGLT2 inhibitor. As many of your viewers will know, SGLT2 inhibitors have been demonstrated to have profound effects to reduce cardiovascular uh, events in large trials. In the EMPA Reg outcome trial specifically, uh, EMPA Gliflozin reduced cardiovascular death and heart failure hospitalizations uh, and also all cause mortality. Yet the mechanism through which these benefits occur remain largely unclear. Uh, specifically, whether SGLT2 inhibitors have an effect to reverse remodel the heart uh, and facilitate LV mass regression has not been previously demonstrated. Uh, left ventricular mass is a, a very important surrogate of adverse cardiovascular events. We know that people that have a increased left ventricular mass are at higher risk of events. And we also know that pharmacological therapies and device therapies that reduce LV mass also reduce cardiovascular events. And therefore, uh, the purpose of this study was to conduct a randomized double-blind control study of empagliflozin 10 in patients with type 2 diabetes who also had established coronary artery disease, defined as either having a prior heart attack or having coronary revascularization. They were uh, randomized to receive either placebo or empagliflozin. Uh, in addition to standard of care, of course, they had type 2 diabetes. Um, and a baseline cardiac MRI was done, which is the gold standard to evaluate LV structure and function. Uh, people were treated for six months, and a repeat cardiac MRI was done at that point in time. Uh, we did additional measures of, uh, you know, circulating biomarkers as well to better understand uh, whether there was any insights from a mechanistic standpoint. Um, I would like to tell you a bit about the types of people that were enrolled in the trial. These were individuals that, had, uh, that were extremely well treated. They did not have a history of heart failure, uh, you know, uh, to begin with. Their left ventricular mass index at baseline was around 60, which is within the normal range and their NT pro BNP was also uh, around 200 so that is also within the normal range so this is a population of stable coronary artery disease patients uh, that is extremely well treated with upward of 85 percent being on ACE inhibitors about a hundred percent on statins and the blood pressure was actually well managed at 135 uh, systolic so you know it is incredibly uh, you know, it was very intriguing to us to see if this was a population uh, that, you know, would actually respond favorably with respect to LV mass regression, given what I just told you. And over six months, our primary outcome was left ventricular mass index, uh, which is the standard way of reporting LV mass, uh, you know, the difference between groups over six months. And this showed a significant reduction in favor of empagliflozin uh, with a p-value of 0 0.01, so it met uh, the, uh, the primary uh, objective of the trial, uh, or the primary endpoint of the trial was met. Um, we also looked at other measures of cardiac MRI, such as, uh, you know, left ventricular uh, end diastolic and end systolic volume indices, and there was no difference for those. There were, uh, you know, again, secondary outcomes. We looked at left ventricular ejection fraction, and although there was a trend towards an increase, it did not achieve statistical significance. Uh, BNP, troponin, and SD2, which are biomarkers of heart failure, were low at baseline and remain unchanged, as you could predict. Um, but most intriguingly, ambulatory blood pressure dropped by about 7 millimeters with a p-value of 0 0.007. And hematocrit uh, rose significantly also with a significant p-value. Finally, in pre-specified subgroup analyses, we evaluated whether people with higher baseline left ventricular mass indices had a greater benefit, and we found that those with a LV mass index of more than 60 grams per meter square had a profound reduction in uh, left ventricular uh, mass with a value for interaction that was again P of 007, so significant between groups. To put this in context, we tried to look at the reduction in LV mass and compare it to other, other studies of 
um, you know, patients with diabetes that have been studied with similar types of techniques using MRI with renin-angiotensin system inhibitors such as aliscarin or losartan. And Professor Solomon was, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the senior author on one of these papers uh, with aliscarin that looked at losartan versus aliscarin versus the combination uh, in patients with type 2 diabetes. And when we uh, compare the reductions in left ventricular mass index that we see, we see that they're very similar, if not more, than what is seen with RAS blockers in people with diabetes uh, in contemporary settings. And importantly, those benefits are seen on top of everybody being treated with an ACE inhibitor, on top of these patients being well managed from a hypertension standpoint, and over and above this population being, you know, the fact that we recruited patients with normal left ventricular mass to begin with. And when we actually compare uh, and, you know, uh, the impact of LV mass regression in individuals, you know, again, it's, it's exploratory and head-to-head -head comparisons like that should not be done, but we do them as clinicians to put things in context, that it seemed that those with elevated LV mass at baseline uh, tended to really drive. Uh, the, the benefit of this I in totality. So taken together, EMPA Heart is uh, a, uh, a study that provides some important, uh, you know, translational clues with respect to this very powerful biology of SGLT2 inhibitors in clinical trials and suggests that if we look back, it may provide an explanation for the profound and precocious benefits seen in EMPA Reg. And looking ahead, it provides that translational bridge to some of the ongoing clinical trials, such as Emperor, DAPA heart failure, that have already begun in the area of the treatment of heart failure, uh, suggesting that this therapy may have the potential to, you know, reduce cardiovascular events in that population as well.